Hello and welcome to the Double Leaders Cup. I'm Shot Like. This is the first qualifying round. The game is between John the Second and Afonso Henriquez. John the Second is expansive and creative, and Aragon starts with fishing and agriculture. Afonso Henriquez is aggressive and expansive, and Portugal starts with fishing and mining. These are the starting positions. Here we see John the Second. Let's get the resource problems on for a moment. East Riverside, there is bananas here, some rice, some coal and also some fish out here. He starts here in the middle, in the north, in the middle of the starting continent. This continent that is uh, starting continent connects over here and all the way down to the Antarctic. Starting continent of Alfonso Enriquez is all the way in the east we see here. There is no river but there are cows, some stone, some rice, there is fish, there is more stone, over here is clams and also some horses. So, who wants it most? Who wants to go through to the second qualifying round of the cup? Let's find out by getting this game rolling, shall we? John, the second of Aragon, Afonso Enriquez of Portugal, one city each, uh, John the second in Buddhism, 40 turns, one city each, still two cities now each. And we see the development here. Let's see, you can get first the three cities. That was Afonso Enriquez. And he has still three cities. Four cities now. Four to two for a moment before John the second got his third. Five to three now. Afonso Enriquez is better at expansion early game, it seems. They are in different religions. Afonso in Hinduism, John in Buddhism. Turn one, 15 is here. There it is. Six cities, Afonso. Five cities now, John. Afonso up to seven. John up to six. He is settling also the continent up north of the starting continent now, John the Second is taking some cities there, while Afonso Enriquez has focused mainly on the south. Seven cities now, Afonso, eight cities, John the Second. And we do have the first war of the game already. That was before 1000 AD that broke out. Nine cities, Afonso, six cities, John the Second. Afonso is now stronger, twice as strong as John the Second. Nine, ten cities to six now. That was a settlement, not a capture. Ten cities to six, Afonso on ten. John the Second on six. This war could determine the outcome of the game. Ten cities to six, and we see Afonso Enriquez. He is the stronger military leader. He is also getting feudalism in just two turns. Eleven to five now. John the second is down to five cities. Afonso is in his, on his way to taking out John the second and winning this game early on. John the second down to point four. The strength of Afonso. That is not a good position to be in when you are trying to win a game. Turn 201, 202, 12 cities to 5. Afonso has a great position right now and he should win it from here. Let's see if he can. Now all the cities remaining for John II are those on the new continent which he migrated to. Starting continent is all Portugal at the moment. So the question now, can Afonso Enriquez take his... Uh, boats and take the cities over there. Yes, he can. He ferried his units over. Now taking cities away from John II on the new continent as well. We see the war and the fighting going on. 13 cities to 6 at the moment. Afonso is getting engineering. 7 cities for John II now. He is trying to expand by building new cities, but when he loses those old ones, that is going to weaken him as well. Afonso with 13 cities. John II with 7. Trying to go Machinery now, John the second, but that is really slow going. He has six cities versus Afonso Enriquez as 14. And he's down to point two the strength as well. Afonso is five times as strong as John. Well, three times as strong at least. 14 to 6 is the city count. Afonso going for uh, optics of the compass. And John the second still slowly going towards machinery. He is not going to get anywhere fast at least, that's for sure. And we see Afonso Enriquez now, he is having this game where he wants it. He can pick and choose whatever, he, however he wants to win it seems. Five cities left for John II now. Is this going to be a conquest or will Afonso put on the brakes, pull the brakes and then start building settlers instead for a domination? He can pick and choose as I said. Afonso going music, five cities left for John II, 16 cities to five is the count at the moment. Turn to 72. 
Doesn't seem to me like we are going to get a two, turn 200 something victory here. I think we are going to go beyond turn 300. It looks that way to me because Afonso is not that quick. Turn 278. Five cities left for John II. Five cities and he's slowly going towards engineering. F Afonso Enriquez is on education. And he's three times as strong, five times as strong as John II at least. 17 cities to five at the moment. And Afonso, what are you going to do now? Turn 286, 287, when will the next city fall? I'm just uh, anxious to see how efficient you can be, Afonso. And you have this advantage. Should be able to be a little bit more efficient taking out uh, the Aragonese cities now. There is down to four cities, John II. Down to four cities now. And Afonso is getting liberalism. He's first to that, obviously. 18 cities to four. And turn 297, so we are not going to get a turn 200 something victory here. We are going to go up above turn 300 beyond that. So John the second with four cities, Afonso Enriquez with 18. 18 to 4, turn 302. 303, three cities now for John the second. Down to three cities, Afonso Enriquez on 22, 3. We are getting early turn 300 something then. Uh, at least we can hope for that. Uh, engineering now for John II though. 20 cities, 2-3 is the count that John is down to point to one strength. Afonso is 10 times as strong as John II then. We're trying to go alphabet. Now John II, 3 cities left for him. 3 cities to 20. Afonso Enriquez, how fast will you get it done? That is what I want to see. Turn 311 now, 20 cities to 3. I have to say that uh, a couple of these, two cities left for John II now, two cities left. And now it could go fast. His empire is split. We see one uh, city <laughs> is far away from the other. And John II, he has to split his attention, which is not good. He cannot send reinforcements from one city to the other. Afonso Enriquez proves the world to be round. Just as the game is about to end, with two cities left for John II now. And we see Afonso Enriquez, 22 to 2. He's, there is fighting going on in the eastern Aragonese city, or around it. 22 cities to 2. Turn 3, 26. One city left for John II now. One city left. How fast can Afonso take that one out to win the conquest here? John II with one city left. Turn 3, 29. Let's see when it happens then. One city left. And it looks like the game is doing some calculations. Shouldn't be that long now, Afonso Enriquez. There is one city left to take. You should take it as quickly as possible now to get this over with. Turn 333. One city still for John II. He hasn't been taken yet. Afonso is also settling a few cities in the New World all the way to the west. Don't tell me he is going to just delay taking the last Aragonese city just because he wants domination instead of conquest. That would not be what uh, I would recommend at least. 23 cities to 1 is the city counts at least. Turn 340 now, 41. But it doesn't seem well. There are some Portuguese units up there. In that uh, outside of the lone city of John II. They really should attack and they really should take it a city. Instead Afonso is settling. There it is, finally! It is all over! Afonso Enriquez has won. Let's click none and confirm the conquest victory 1928 AD, turn 348. Congratulations Afonso Enriquez, going through to the next qualifying round.
Afonso Henriquez declared war in 900 AD, turn 155. In 1928, turn 348, after 1,028 years, 193 turns in war, he did win conquest after having won the city captures 13 to 0. Let's go take a look at the graphs and the stats. Here we are at the graphs, we see Portugal is in the green and Aragon is in the yellow. This is the score. This is the GNP, the production, the food, the power, the culture, and the espionage. Let's go take a look at the demographics then. We see here, of course, John II is in uh, <laughs> the first area. He actually has 23 GNP. I wonder how that can be. I have no idea. But at least here we have Afonso Henriquez's numbers with 17.6 million inhabitants at the end of the game. 347,000 uh, square kilometers, and uh, yeah, you see the numbers there. Top six citizen wonders then. One, two, three, four wonders in the BC era. And you see here all the cities controlled by Afonso Enriquez because he did uh, win the uh, conquest, of course. Statistics. John II, he did build 13 cities and three religions was founded. He did build in his cities nine granaries, seven barracks and seven consulate of, uh, consulates of the sea, down to one Buddhist temple. We see here the current units then, one settler. Uh, he did train a total of 33 longbowmen, 30 archers, 26 catapults. All the way down to one great merchant. The kills that they managed to get 28 swordsmen and horse archers, 13 chariots and knights down to one longbowman. And the losses were 46 longbowmen, 26 catapults, 18 almogavars uh, down to one workboat. Afonso Enriquez then. He has built 12 cities, 4 legends, 1 golden age currently on 40 towns, 31 mines, 29 farms he did build, 20 barracks, 18 granaries, 17 lighthouses, down to 2 Jewish temples there. Let's go page down and see a complete page 2 with Notre Dame at the bottom, so let's go page down again. And see the great library is the last building built by Afonso Enriquez in his cities, his current units then. 59 longbowmen, 48 knights, 34 macemen, down to 2 great spies, and he has trained a total of 164 workboats, 55 knights, 49 longbowmen, down to 6 Buddhist missionaries, let's go page down, and see one great artist at the bottom of the list of units, the kills then. 46 longbowmen, 26 catapults, 18 almogavars, down to one workboat, and the losses were 28 swordsmen and horse archers, 13 chariots and knights, all the way down to one longbowman. I think he w could have won this war a lot earlier if he had not built all those workboats, but who am I to question a winner? Congratulations uh, to Alfonso Henriquez. I think that we should go to the victory condition screen in this game as well, so let's do just that. We see Alfonso Henriquez had only 51% of the land area, so he was very far away from domination. He didn't go for culture either. He did build the Apostolic Palace, but that didn't matter in this game. Let's go exit and take a look at the numbers. Of course, John II has zero cities, so we have to go to Alfonso Henriquez to see his 25 cities then. And now John, well, he settled one, but that uh, was after the game was already over, so it doesn't matter. Sort by population here. And we see all the cities on one page. So uh, 18 Pops, Lisbon, Coimbra, Braga, Sar uh, no, those three. Braga 15, and then Saragossa, Girona 14. A little bit unhappiness in a few cities, but mostly happy. They are all healthy. They have decentish, uh, good food in Sousa, actually. Base commerce is uh, not the best, but it's uh, 66 is good. And then the 55 in Girona, Lagos 51 is good as well. Then we have um, the production that is kind of lowish overall, but uh, decentish enough. 
Congratulations anyway to Afonso Enriquez for winning Conquest 1928 Turn 348 and going through to the second qualifying round tomorrow. There is another game in the cup between Juarez and Caligula. Hope to see you back then. I am shot like this has been the Noble Leaders Cup. Goodbye for today.